Pascal City. Hey, everybody. We are here today for the live stream. There's our camera. Um, I've got Dennis Robinson here. Uh, Dennis is a, a KV Core expert within Five Star, so you're a, a self-taught KV Core expert. We're going to talk about that today. And I got Mary Scalzetti, Marketing Mary. Um, if you've not met with Mary yet, you probably should just reach out to her instead of a meeting because she's great. So, um, all right. So the purpose of today's live stream was to kind of um, talk to you guys about KV Core a little bit. We have a class tomorrow. If you're not aware of the class, we're going to post it in the comments below. And I think there's at least. 10 to 15 seats available? Yeah, there still are. But I think I want to reiterate, 10 to 12, 10 a.m., 12 p.m., Granville office. RSVP. And we will be recording it. We will be recording it, and you can also join via Zoom. So we will so. post all this information below yes. here. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. So <laughs> Can't so miss it. For those of you that, that are, have, been, have been looking for KV Core help, um, Dennis um, helped us build a class out. And so he's going to run you through how how he how he got started um starting with the basics but then i also want to like put this out here for those of you who are maybe are intimidated by technology or kind of wonder like do i need kv core do i need a crm and the answer is it depends um you know a crm is essentially in its most basic form as a list of people and and uh, kind of like basic information about that person your your past clients your your sphere um, it could be as simple as a yellow notepad. It could be an Excel spreadsheet. It could be contactually. It could be KV Core. So, um, you know, there's so many successful agents in this company and in the United States that have never used a CRM like KV Core and have had fantastic businesses. So I just want to put that out there that you're okay if you don't want to use it. That's totally fine. But this is for people who want to get into it a little bit. So, um, Dennis, let's start with you. Let's go to your story a little bit. So you've been in real estate not too long. Nope, nope, started in September. So All right, and, and just give us a little, estate. just really briefly, a little history on your sales history in, in prior to real estate. Yeah, I always try to tell everybody that I started selling uh, back in grade school, um, doing the fundraisers in school. Um, I always was competitive to be number one. Uh, I did get second once, and that never happened again. Worst day of your uh, life. Yeah, I missed out on the bicycle. That was the year <laughs> you get the bike. I was really excited. Um, you know, and I would door knock um, at a young age selling these fundraiser things. And I think that was kind of built into me. Um, going on to selling Kirby vacuums, door knocking that. I became the number one regional salesman uh, in just a month mm -hmm. uh, in that time frame. They sent us on a good little trip to the Bahamas. Wow. Um, started my own business, got into the vaping industry. Uh, back in the 2011, 2012, it took really well, I sold that. Um, and I realized at that moment, I really enjoyed marketing. Mm -hmm. um, sales and marketing went hand in hand. I love the psychology behind getting into it, uh, especially the whole diamond ring story is just one of my favorite. What's um, the diamond ring yeah, story? Yeah, I don't know this. I need the diamond ring story. You looked at my figure, yeah. like, I do not I have, I was like, I don't have a diamond ring on either. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, Years ago, um, our great great grandparents didn't give diamond rings when you got married. Mm. Um, you gave a gem or metal band, usually a birthstone um, that you would give them. Um, Marilyn Monroe and De Beers Jewelers teamed up together with the slogan Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Diamond is a yeah. girl's best friend. And years and years and years of marketing this over and over and over it has become the norm. It's not marketing anymore. Hmm. It is the normal to mar to give a diamond ring when you get married. Um, I, I love that story too because a lot of times the diamond ring doesn't represent the woman. It represents the man, mm -hmm. the one who gave the ring. Mm -hmm. It tells a lot about them. You can learn about their financial aspects, uh, you know, some methods. How far just willing they're looking. going to go into debt. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. How much how much money they make or, sure. or sure. not make. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think that story is so fascinating. Oh, that's interesting. That it just kind of, that's the best marketing. When marketing doesn't feel like marketing anymore. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, that's, okay. when, that's when I fell in love. So I went, got a bachelor's degree online, worked full time, um, and I raised my three kids. Um, I went to school for six years straight, nonstop, and I got my master's degree. Um, I don't recommend that to anybody <laughs> ever again. It was not easy. Um, yeah. And it took a lot of focus and uh, just to do your homework all mm -hmm. the time but yeah, yeah uh okay. got into real estate um because the company i worked for uh they had hired us to do some uh, marketing and advertising some videography for home and the moment i walked into it i knew uh, i'm in the wrong place i need mm. to be here 
uh, from now on. Got my license immediately and jumped in. So okay. why did you, why did you, when you first got in, decide to adapt KV Core and why did you make it a priority to you? What was, what was it about it that was important? Yeah, um, I was new and I didn't mm -hmm. have a CRM and KV Core was free. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so right. I yes. looked at that and I'm like, okay, if this is free and it's mm -hmm. a great software, um, I need to learn everything I can about mm -hmm. it. Uh, unfortunately, the day before my uh, uh, meeting, I got laid off. Mm -hmm. And so I knew in my mind that I needed to learn this and I need to learn it as quick as I could, as fast as I could, so that I could become. Uh, go through the winter and have a great spring. Yeah. I, I listen to the Facebook Lives all the time. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we're getting the winter set up so that spring <laughs> is a great 20. And now everyone's getting set up for January 1. Right, right. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so how did you learn KV Core? So the biggest thing I can say about KV Core is I just spent hours and hours watching the videos mm -hmm. online. Uh, they have a great uh, program there that... Uh, lays out everything that you could learn. So if I'm looking at the main, I log into KV Core, how do I find this? There's two little buttons I try to tell everybody. You can hit the top button up at the right. It's a little it one. says. It doesn't have a saying, it's a little icon. It's a okay, it's an icon, a secret button. button. And then at the bottom, there's a little one on the left that says learning portal. Yeah. Learning, por learning portal. Oh, learning okay. portal. Click on the learning portal. Um, and there are some classes that um, you won't need yeah, um, you you choose, right? Yeah, you choose. Some are yeah. trying to sell you on like so they uh, have them broken up aspects. into they have them broken up into like lessons. Lessons. Egypt yep. Success is one of them. That's the number one one. I that's the one I started with. Yeah, uh, I think that's the best one um, because it goes over almost every single aspect in a brief view of what KV Core can do from just being a a Rolodex mm -hmm. to a, a full on. Uh, automating platform system. that yeah it just does it like and I crazy. think what's nice about it too is that like if you do feel overwhelmed because sometimes taking on a new technology and trying to learn a new platform can be pretty overwhelming no matter how what age Absolutely. you are right so it's kind of nice to have the ability to start a video and then you can come back to it and finish it later so like digest what you've learned and don't try and push your way through everything all at once so that you can retain what you're watching and also the videos live there forever Absolutely. so if you need to reference them going forward they're there if, right. if you guys do them, um, yeah, I recommend pausing the video during the video yeah. and, and going jumping. and jumping and following like, I'm gonna go back. Try this because um, right? it pops it up into another window. Yeah. So I mean, it, it just makes it simple. Mm -hmm. um, I did that. That's how I set up everything from the very beginning. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, you hear I'm from Illinois, so I didn't have any uh, a large sphere mm -hmm. of people to bring in other than the ones that I had worked with. Um, so I knew that. It was very important to start bringing in those leads as yeah. quick as I could. Yeah. I just, I want to make sure people don't feel overwhelmed because there are, you know, really a step-by-step -step setup to once you're in there, now I'm in here, what do I do? Right? So what we've kind of, I worked, I put an outline yeah, together yes, and then worked with Dennis. No, you can read it. You like, can let me just take this over. You got this. Um, you got this. So, so I, I put this together and then Dennis is going to be this the one teaching the it tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. So I want to kind of talk about what's going to be covered in the course tomorrow. And again, as Paul mentioned, it's going to be recorded and it's going to live so that people can watch it going forward. But I think one of the basic things for people who haven't used KV Core is how do I get in? It's like, I've never yes. logged in before. Yeah, yeah. So how do in. I get it? Right. So how do I get into KV Core? What's a, what's the website? Yep. It's, yep. I've heard that yeah. many, many times. I didn't even know I had right. KV Core. So um, how do I log in? And then once I'm in there, I'm looking at this platform and there's all these different pieces, right? There's calls to make and this and my list isn't tasks uploaded. And, and ta yeah, tasks yeah. and reminders <laughs> and all that stuff. So how to navigate the dashboard is kind of a big one too because you need to know what you're looking at exactly, right, when you yeah. first get in. Absolutely. Um, the second portion uh, or the third portion I should say is getting your list imported, right? So until you have your sphere or your contact list imported, you can't do much within it aside from Correct. creating squeeze pages and trying to drive leads. So getting that imported, um, and there's a video on that too, and while we say that you know um, the videos can be a little confusing, what's nice about the lead import or the contact import is that if you send your list to KV Core, they'll do it for you. Really? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, hold on. I was gonna bring that up in the meeting this. tomorrow. Okay, how does this yeah. work? Yeah. Spoiler alert, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, stole yeah. his thunder. You literally <laughs> can just email your, if you have a trouble right. constantly trying to get yours to upload, just send them a message. Don't waste you your time. Be, you can just send best. your contacts to KV Core. Yes. And they'll do it and for you. And they'll pop them they in there for you. They upload it for you. The only thing I will... <laughs> 
<laughs> is frozen. He's, he's, he's like, frozen. And they yeah. have an amazing customer service. Yeah. I know that sounds crazy. Okay. They've done like better. They've, they're doing better, Dennis. Because we had some complaints about like turnaround times and, oh my gosh, it's going to take a long time to schedule a one-on-one and those types of things. Um, but they listened to our complaints and they've added more support reps. And now it isn't two weeks to get a call with them. It can be the same day or the day after. So yes, you can email your CSV file or Excel file over to them. It will take two to three business days, but they will upload your list for you for free. Wow. So you don't have to ever learn how to do it if you don't want to, right? Simple. <laughs> right. I didn't have to do that. Right. <laughs> so getting your list imported. Um, and then the other part of it is, say you have your list imported. I mean, it's your sphere is ever growing. It's never the end of it. So you're constantly adding new people. So another important piece of it is, okay, I have my sphere uploaded. What if I want to add one person? You know, I meet someone, I want to add them to my sphere. So adding individual people is also just as important Very so simple. that you can yeah. keep in contact Absolutely. with them going forward. Um, and then also being in control, one of the one of the parts of the cl- parts of the class is going to be updating your profile. So how you appear on Five Star Michigan's website is controlled by your profile. So the headshot that's in there, um, there's a place for a title. You can create an email signature, all of this good stuff within KV Core. Um, so he's going to cover that too. Um, and then moving into the smart CRM because really the smart CRM is the bulk of it, that, right? Absolutely. I mean, that's mm-hmm. where KV Core shines. Yeah. Is the smart CRM. So, Dennis, let me ask you a couple of questions about the smart CRM. Okay. Because you've experimented with it, you've played with it. Yep. The one thing that I've heard is is sometimes the smart CM w- CRM will will text someone when you mm. don't want them to, and, won't, and you don't even know that it texted like, them. Like, why are you Absolutely. sending me? Why are you emailing me this? Why is this turned on? Exactly. Or, 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 and how do I turn it off? Or right? Is this really you? Yeah. Correct. So talk to us about your experience with that. So there are a few ways that we can set this up. Uh, the cool thing about the smart CRM is you can tell it when, what type of client you want to mm-hmm. message. Um, I per- specifically don't have my smart CRM turned on for any of my new all of my clients. Because they don't um, need to hear from me. Because they don't right? need to hear from anybody else but me at this right. moment, right? The smart CRM should be utilized uh, for the leads that you don't talk to nurturing, as often. Kind of cool nurturing, leads. exactly. Um, you know, those are your prospects or your new leads. Open house people. Open house people. Mm-hmm. And you can set that. And literally, you can turn off the two sections you off. want. All off, yeah. Yeah, or you can turn it all off and not use the smart CRM. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you just click. Um, I don't want my clients, and I don't want my. There's another one that okay. I have, and I can't think off offhand, but I'll, I'll show you in the class tomorrow. Um, <coughs> you can shut those off, and then they will never be automated messaged. Mm-hmm. Um, you just need to make sure that you're updating that client to the right. Um, category category that you have right. set for and I want people to know too that you know when if someone so everyone has a free website through Mich- uh, five star Michigan right Everybody. so everyone has so yours is Dennis Robinson dot five star Michigan dot com yours would be Paul Carlson dot five star Michigan dot com list with Dennis dot com sorry I know everyone's gonna be running <laughs> to go to that site does list with Dennis dot com just forward there so you have uh, re- yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have a redirect okay absolutely so even if you do not have your contacts imported into KV Core how are you getting a lead? How is there a lead being emailed to me? Why, who is this lead and why are they receiving stuff from me? People can still be funneled to you through Five Star Michigan's website as well as your individual Five Star um, personal website. I get so many from my right. personal website. And right. I, I know that when I got into this business, um, you know, my original thought was I need to talk to some realtors, especially that's been in the business for a long time. I joined a team with Matt Kepley and the mm-hmm. Kepley Properties team, and I learned a lot from them, but I've also spent time with others. And a lot of people told me that don't worry about your personal website. That's not where they're going. No. Um, they're going to Zillow and they're going yes. to other places. And you're right. You're absolutely right. Um, but you're crazy to think that um, nobody goes to your nobody site. Nobody goes, If right. you mm-hmm. do it correctly, people will go to your site. Um, my Google ads are set to bring people to my site. Mm-hmm. Um, there I collect phone numbers and emails. Mm-hmm. Um, today I've gotten four directly from our website. Just today. Mm-hmm. Um, now the quality of those leads, who knows? Correct, right? absolutely. Have to, I've had some them, that are right. bad and I've mm-hmm. had some that are good. I, I think I shared uh, in the Facebook Connect group once, um, the one, the worst one I had, which was Kiss My A. Oh, um, yeah. I get Donald Duck sometimes. Sure, Kettle he's pop. always searching for yeah, properties. Yeah, yeah. Donald yeah. Duck's oh, very busy in the market. You know, and I think I had a Donald Trump once. Yes, yeah. absolutely. See what and he's, I love he's pretty busy. Over here, so. it, we are, we are, we are, you know, Grand Rapids area is topping the ranks and best place to live. I can see Donald Trump wanting to be here. You know, and it might be but, a real Donald Trump. Do, um, do we want him here is the question. One, one of my favorite, <laughs> I, I have a really great success story. And, I, and if anyone has success stories from some Ooh, of this stuff, please just post them below. Yeah, absolutely. But one of the, one of my, my success stories years ago, 
I was using, using a system called Market Leader, um, which I think Sense has basically fallen okay, to I pieces. Didn't think yeah, they were. I think it was at one point. I think it was okay. Market Leader was purchased by Zillow for five hundred million dollars. I think it was Zillow, and they were sold for five million. Ooh. Mm. Yes, yes, that could. So, um, but anyways, th they had sort of an automatic follow-up program. It was a mm -hmm. CRM that had this stuff, right? So I get this phone call from this this woman. She's like, hey, um, we'd like you to come over and, and, and uh, list our home. And my husband and I are getting divorced. It's, it's amicable. So we need, there's three transactions here. Can you help us with this? I had never met them. And they said, you know, you were just the most persistent. You, you were the hungriest, so we're hiring you. And I was like, I don't even know who they are. <laughs> But they, 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 they were in my little drip Correct. campaign. Absolutely. So they were receiving something from They were you. receiving my emails. Mm -hmm. And again, this this is not like, I wouldn't expect my sphere to maybe um, have, 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 let, have needed this. Correct. But this random person that mm -hmm. showed up at my site and just like made a search and signed up, yeah, it turned into three transactions. Yeah. I, I wow. love it. Um, I've had a couple already that have... That haven't turned into transaction yet, but have turned into yes. active leads that clients we're are working clients with. are working with right now. Mm -hmm. um, it feels really good, and you're right. Um, you just set them up with a search alert based mm -hmm. on what they're looking right. for. Uh, the crazy thing about KV Core is it te it tells you so much about these individuals. Right. Um, it does a uh, quick little check on their emails and their phone numbers to tell you if they're quality leads. It finds them on social Facebook. Media it finds them sites, on social yeah. media and Google and so forth. It will pin that information there for you. Mm -hmm. It tells you in a little on the side what they're looking for. Three bedrooms, two and a half bath. They've looked at 72 properties or yeah. mm -hmm. between 160,000 like properties. They're pretty serious. They're pretty, serious. pretty good, right? Yeah. Absolutely. It gives you a ton of information just there on that CRM um, that, that I absolutely use. So to circle back, if people are wondering why they're receiving KV Core leads via email when they do not have any contacts in their CRM, it's because someone has come to your Five Star Michigan website Correct. or to the main Five Star Michigan the website. Round Robins. And it Round Robins, yeah, correct. If they went to your individual um, dot five star Michigan personal website, those come straight to the agent. Yep. But if they go to Five Star Michigan, we round robin leads throughout all agents. So that's why you would be receiving an email, um, so not to be confused why it's coming in. Um another important aspect <laughs> is <clears throat> follow up with past clients. Mm -hmm. Correct. We know that um, I think the numbers we, we, we go on are about seventy to seventy five percent of people never hear from the realtor again post closing. So I always think about like what's the what's the most valuable form of follow up inside of KV Core, and I have an opinion on what I think it could be. Is here. I think. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? What what you you got? Just, I'm just taking my, <laughs> Tell me. myself up right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's just let Let's it talk. at this. <laughs> I think that one of the I think that one of the most valuable um, forms of, of uh, follow up built into KV Core is the market report. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is the is the uh, here's what happened because I think that. As a homeowner now, who's one of your past clients who now owns a house that you helped them purchase, I think that much more than like looking for, and this is just my personal opinion, much rather than recipes, things like this, I think they might be curious like, well, what is my house worth and what is yeah. the market doing? Because this is, a, this is my most expensive asset. It's probably larger than my 401k. It's larger than my IRA or my, yeah, it's, it's more than all this. So like, how, what's this thing worth? What's it doing? What's the market doing? And so that's probably why these people will go to Zillow because that's the only place they know of where they can they get, get that accurate information, information right? You get walkability ratings, you get right. estimates, right. you get... So if you can set up something that's automatically going to them on a monthly basis with a market report of their property, then they don't need to go to Zillow to look for this information because you're providing it to them, and right? You're, you're an expert. I, was, uh, I, I love the analogy. I think uh, the numbers were like 89% of people surveyed said they would use... Or, uh, 90 percent we'll just say that if people surveyed said they would use their realtor again mm -hmm. but only like four percent did because they forgot who yeah. their realtor they forget was. their realtor's name absolutely so i knew from the beginning that i need to stay focused i need mm -hmm. to stay on them throughout yeah. the entire time so that they yeah. don't forget about me all right well, go ahead just just as an example here i was talking with somebody about college a couple days ago I could only remember one professor's oh, that's name that's a good question so think back to your college days think, think back to high school can you remember your science teacher's name, your government teacher's name? Can you remember in college, can you remember your English professor's name? No. But you spent day after day oh, after uh, day months. for, for yeah. semesters yeah. with that person. You can't remember their name right now. Right. So think about if I have mm -hmm. a great transaction with you, you sell me a house, but three, four years go by, in that process I have kids. Mm -hmm. um, 
I, I Which got means a new you job. Lost half your brain. I got a new job. <laughs> right. I, and all of a sudden, I'm like, who was our realtor? Yeah, it's a lot to keep track of. I mean, of. It, you know, we think that we're so memorable that maybe they, mm-hmm. that, that, that we'll just be top of mind from. But I, I just think we need to rethink that. Yeah, it's important to stay in front of them. So we have a couple of minutes left, and I just wanted to talk quickly about the other things, just mention the other yeah, things yeah. that you're going to be Good. covering in the course tomorrow. Um, the CMA Builder, there is a CMA Builder within KB Core that you can utilize, um, again, which is pretty awesome. Um, there's an open house app. So when you have visitors coming into an open house, you can have your KB Core open house app open on your tablet or your phone or whatever, and you can have people sign in that way. The benefit of that is that you can then once they sign in, they go directly into your CRM, right? So you don't have to manually I'm enter them. Steal there for just a second. Yeah, that's one of my biggest uh, success rates right there. Mm. Uh, is going. I do a lot of open houses. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're needing somebody, hi, I'm Dennis. Dennis. Um, but yeah, um, I love the open houses. I've built a little open house automation setup Cute. so that as soon as they've left the open house, mm-hmm. within four hours, they get a text message from me saying thank you for coming to visiting my site, mm. so forth. Even if they have an agent already that they're working with, I still text them and I still email them that first time to let them know, hi, thank you, and then I move them and into my sphere. And then you leave them alone. Right, right, them right, alone. right, 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 right. Um, because again, remember, they may not remember who their agent is four years from now, and I want to say hi mm-hmm. in four sure. years. It's important. Absolutely. And then the, uh, the other thing quickly is that Dennis is going to be showing people how to um, create a squeeze page. So the squeeze page, the term is a little bit confusing. Horrible name. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I didn't think name it. Like a funnel. I didn't name it. Exactly. Think of it as a funnel. Right. You're squeezing people to the page. <laughs> the, the, so the squeeze page <laughs> creates a funnel where people can come in and then show the and squeezing. Then squeezes and oh, squeezes yeah, them. There it is. Yeah, yeah. It's a much. There it should be just called the funnel page. I think it should rename it the funnel page. So either way, people ask, well, how can I use KV Core to get leads? Right. That's one of the biggest things. It's like I want to manage my contacts, but I also want to get leads. So creating these squeeze pages. Um, that you can then post on Facebook and have people click through to Hold the on. page to collect their information. I want to talk about squeeze pages for a second. Do you want to do the actions again? Let's talk about squeeze pages. <laughs> okay. These are free. Free. They are. You can have as many of them as you want. Yes. I shared one in the Facebook Connect group. Already. And what are some things, what are some types of squeeze pages? You can do you single can property. Single property, multi market property, reports, market reports, market areas. Reports, yep, areas. market reports. Area reports. So like if I was, you can, if I was Whatever you could imagine so if I, if I, that point. If I wanted to create a... Four nine five zero six squeeze page, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or I want to create a Rockford Schools squeeze page to be like, here's what happened in Rockford. Prices went up. This is what happened with this. How many homes sold? Absolutely. That mm-hmm. so I could just make like a market page and it just stays there. Yeah, yeah. And it's very simple to edit once you understand it. Yeah. I have to admit, my first time I kind of fumbled my way through it, um, but once you understand the process of how to update that lead page, um, it's mm-hmm. simple. So they click this, you post this on Facebook or you post the link on any social media site you want to. They you click the this link, link you could email it. Out. They click this link, which takes them to a page that shows them this single property or all the properties within an area that you want to show them. And then as they're on the page, it's kind of has this intuitive where like if they try to start clicking around, that box pops up and it asks them to submit their email address and their contact information in order for them to continue using the page. So that's how they capture the information. What's nice about it is that you can set how many clicks they get to navigate before the the pop-up comes up. So if you wanted to have it pop up immediately when they come to the page and ask for their information, you can. Otherwise, they could click once or twice and give them some time to play around before you ask for their info. So you're in control of that too. One thing I want to challenge Dennis on. Uh Tomorrow, will you give us like a top three or top five favorite uses of KB Core? Like your like your just favorite things that you have seeming to have pretty good success with, or Absolutely. like things that you think are the most practical, things that you think will move the needle most for people. Yeah, absolutely. I, one right off the bat, I want to give is the fact that you can utilize this on anything: your cell phone, yeah. your computer. The apps are pretty good. Uh, yeah, I mean they they do a great job at you know if I'm sitting here and I need to get your information very quickly mm-hmm. and put it in here, I can pop open KB Core and just type it straight in there. Boom, right away. Mm-hmm. You know, and it, it offers listings, um, which is great. I mean, there's mm-hmm. so many things yeah, I think that are really good. Now, the CMA builder, instead of using like the, you might use that instead of using like just whatever uh, tool toolkit CMA or. Have you done the C- have you done any CMAs in the CMA? I have done yet? a CMA. Um, I like the landing page section a lot too, um, uh, because C- then you can play it with it a little bit more. Uh, they do two different. They do the lead generation and they do a landing page. I think how they're called in there. Yeah. Two different ways, two different things that you can do. Um, I've done giveaways uh, mm-hmm. that way to grab contact information. Hey, enter to win this. Blah 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 blah. 
Um, have you used the CMA builder to just go and create a CMA for a particular property for a client? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Does and then email it well? to them? Uh, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. digital. It's, it's not digital. Uh, it's printable. Yeah. Um, I don't like the format. Okay. I wish it was a little bit more editable. Send me your suggestions because um, I know, like, I know, like, we can always. Yeah. So absolutely. seriously, though, if, if there's any improvement, like, they are open to suggestions. To give. Yeah, they're pretty good about to that. To prove that, um, I use the Open House app all the time. And one of the things I absolutely hated was in the phone number section was always optional. Um, and I don't mind if it's optional, but don't put there yeah, optional, optional because then because guess gonna what? Skip Nobody's yeah. going to put optional. Right. I'm, like, I'm never I, giving. Yeah, and I kept saying that. Can you at least just remove the word mm -hmm. optional from in there so that more people are willing to put their phone number in? They actually did went above and beyond that. They added a switch to where now you can make it required mm -hmm. um, if it's up to you. It's if up it's to you. up to you now, you yeah. can make that phone number required, which I do. Um, it's nice when people listen to your feedback, especially from people who are in the field actually using the app. They're like, they know that you're the ones using it, so it matters. I didn't you know. think that it would go anywhere. Yeah. I thought I was just putting, you know, something out there that they were just going to, well, yeah. whatever. This kid doesn't know what he's doing. But they and listen. So they must they have heard it, it from other people, too. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Or I'm just that influence. Yeah, you're very important. So, okay. So, so what time is this class tomorrow and where? Right? And, how, and, how, and, and are we going to post everything in this little text box below? Yes. So 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Granville office. Um, Dennis will be there teaching. We will be Zooming it for people that live out of the area and want to just Zoom in and join live. And we will also be recording it. Our fabulous videographer, Dominic, will be recording it and we will be posting it later um, so that you can watch it if you don't have the time to do it from 10 to 12. Thus concludes our, <laughs> our live stream today. So, all right, guys. So hopefully you found this valuable. Um, if, you, if you need help, reach out to any one of us. Um, Absolutely. And, and we can get you guys the help you need on, on KV Corp. All right, guys? See ya. Until Bye. next time.